Hi guys, welcome to Short No Life. So in today's video, as you can see, I have a really large box. It is from Azure Beauty. They sent two dip powder kits for me to review for you guys. And these are prime day deals. These are such amazing deals, but I'm gonna show you everything that comes in the boxes. So first up, I have a 100 piece cotton ball. Next up is this bag full of things. First up is an after service card. Then you also have your instruction manual. This tells you how to do your nails with a dip powder. It shows you how to do it on natural nails, how to do it on extensions. I like to tell you guys, I wear short extensions. I have worn Azure Beauty before, two weeks, no problem. So for short extensions, this really does work. It also comes with a dust brush, a cuticle oil pen. It comes with a file, also a manicure brush. I can't remember what these are called, but they're clips that help you remove your gel or dip powder. Then it also comes with two extra brushes and it's a lot of cuticle pushers in here, wooden cuticle pushers. I did not count, but I feel like it may be 10, maybe eight. It's a lot, which I appreciate because I like to use these and just throw them away if I'm doing somebody else's nails. Then you get your metal cuticle pusher as well and then a buffer you get your dip powder tray i love this these work perfectly for me i know this has something to do with gel polish removal i can't remember what it's called but you also get your base your activator you're going to get a brush saver as well and then you're also going to get a top coat so as you can see you get a lot in this kit and then next up you get the dip powder these are so beautiful i could not swatch them i didn't have enough swatch sticks but i wanted you guys to kind of see everything you get this one kind of is more neon colored but you also get some glitter in there they are all just so gorgeous and the best part it is $15.89 and then also since it's prime day they did give me a code for you guys to use that will take save you an extra 10% off for less than $15 or how much ever it's going to amount to this is an amazing kit you literally get everything you need so this is the second kit they sent out the only thing different is the color and the things they gave me so this one had a yellow buffing block and then the cuticle oil was scented rose I believe I don't know what the first one is scented as there's not specific but again you get everything the same in this one and then this is the dip powders you get these are just so beautiful. I should have swatched these. I wish I had some swatch sticks, but I showed you because this looks like chrome powder in a jar, but it's dip powder. It is so pretty. I wish I could have swatched that out. This one is the same. It has this gold reflex, but it is a nude shade. It is so, so gorgeous. Next up, this one caught my eye as well. I just saw those flakes in it and I I just thought this was a beautiful like milky flaky dip powder i didn't really think too much about it but i'm gonna pop a picture up of the kit and it's actually butterflies in there as well as like these flaky iridescent little flakes <laughs> it is just it's beautiful i really like it i believe this kit is a little bit more i think it's around the 26 dollars mark but again that 10 percent code is there if you want to check it out I really do recommend both of these kits. I love everything about them. So this is the second tray in that 36 piece. This one did come a little bit open as you can see. It's a little bit more dusty, but I don't mind. I just clean it right on up. It is just, it's so beautiful. I love this one as well. This is a chunky glitter. You really get what you pay for with this kit. And the best thing about Azure Beauty, which let me pause that for a second. I just wanted to show you my thumb at that moment because I did pop it off. I'm sorry if that distracts you guys from anything. So I'm just going to show you everything I want to use in today's video. But like I said, I want to go back to what I like about this kit. I feel like you get everything you actually need. I tried my best to actually do a video not going outside the kit, but you guys know I'm a gel girl. <laughs> so I had to throw some gel in there somewhere, but I, in all honesty, I didn't need anything. Not in today's video. It supplied me with everything I need. Maybe some alcohol and some wipes is the only thing extra I feel. Well, you can use, no, you can't use the cotton balls. 
<laughs> but you can use the cotton balls for removal, which they provide for you. So you'll need some acetone to like melt them off. But yeah, I am happy with everything. I did show you that I put the dip powder back in the tray with this kit with this tray i'm sorry that's what i wanted to show you why i like this tray so much i know some people like cupcake liners they do the same exact thing for me i like this i can clean it out i don't have to worry about cupcake liners but it's really preference all of this is preference so i am just talking through this you guys kind of seen me do dip powder before i just put the base on then i sprinkle the dip powder on i am doing these on press-ons today so even if you do press-ons and you just want to do something a little extra to make sure your nails are a little bit stronger because sometimes some of these press-ons are a little weak so this is perfect if you have some weak press-ons and you really want to use those press-ons and not have them waste money this is a perfect kit for that because this dip powder is going to provide you structure for those so yeah I really like it I'm sorry I keep feel like I keep getting off topic but I was telling you I did put base coat on the nails and then I did sprinkle the dip powder on top and then I'm gonna do a second layer as well I did do different types of methods with the dip powder this one I think I just dumped dunked it into the dip powder to see if that works because these are press-ons and I do want to say I got the idea for press on dip powder nails from the curly crite I will link her channel down below she does amazing dip powder videos tutorials <laughs> i could not get the word tutorials out. i'm sorry you guys but she does amazing tutorials i learned so much from her i still do things wrong <laughs> but she has amazing tutorials and also wear your mask when you work with any nail liquids or nail products because this dust is bad for you for any product so make sure you're wearing your mask when you do dip powder gel acrylic all of it you don't want to inhale all of that does I do want to mention that now I am just activating the nails and I am going to file and buff them off camera because these are press-ons I really didn't do anything but even out the free edge and buff them lightly so now I decided I wanted to do like a I don't know how to say this ombre this there's a technique there's a name for this technique but I cannot think of it off the top of my head but I wanted to do that with these dip powders I'm basically using them as pigment powders so I've done this before and I did it with base coat it did not work it, they came out super light so during the Christmas season I tried it with their dip powder base and that was like light bulb moment. This works perfectly with their dip powder base. Since this is dip powder base, it the same kind of goes with what they always tell you. The more layers you have, the more opaque it would be. I didn't want it super opaque. I wanted to do that. My audio just got cut off, I'm sorry. But I wanted to do that Aura trend um the aura i don't know how to say it but i wanted to do that trend where it's like more pigmented in the middle of the nails and then like when it's spread out it becomes more sheer if i can find a picture i'll definitely pop it up here but i wanted to do that and then do those futuristic lines on top so that's where my inspiration is today and if you see me kind of brush the nail completely with the brush I thought that maybe I could get all of that pigment well yeah pigment on the nail but it didn't work like that but I was just showing you how pretty that brush looked I did destroy it so be aware you could destroy your brush if you do the same technique I did but I did go ahead and I put base gel on both of the nails that I'm going to draw on top of because I didn't want it to be bumpy because dip powder is a little bit bumpy and I did buff it off camera but I still didn't want bumpiness of on the nail so I did do a base coat and then I wiped off the tacky layer I want to be honest with you guys I have no clue what I'm doing with this set <laughs> this is not my style of nails I wanted to just go outside my comfort zone one time and just try something new and surprisingly I actually love this I thought this was so pretty and something I would definitely be happy wearing 
Um, I always, every time I saw this like trend or this type of nail set, I was like, no, why do you do that? It's like, I honestly, I didn't like it, but I love this once I have it on the nail. I think I like the fact that it's more colorful and that's kind of me. I love bright and colorful nails. So I love the fact that I did that colorful background. And when you see nails like this, they usually only have that one color on them. And for me, I just, I like the blossomed colorful background. So like I said, I have no clue what I'm doing and you can kind of see with my hesitations. <laughs> so at this point, I honestly knew that that first line I put on the nail, I knew it was too thick. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna remove the whole thing. I thought I was gonna remove the whole thing. I got my wipe and I did wipe up the side and I'll put an area where I'm talking about. And that removed that excess black so i didn't start over i just removed some of the excess from that one line and then i started drawing at the bottom of that nail so once i get everything in order i go ahead and i stick the lamp light in the lamp for 45 seconds i like to do 45 seconds because it just works best for me sometimes you can go the full minute and it works best but for me with chrome 45 seconds is the max that i do and then I did rub the chrome on as you can see and I like it like there's something about it I did not expect to like these nails I fully prepared to just not really know how to feel about them but I really do like these and that kind of surprised me so let me know what you guys think are you do you like this trend do you not like this trend because I was 100% with you guys who say no we don't like this trend that whole futuristic nail things and the I think it's like um I can't think of the word but it's a it's the weathered silver look gunmetal that's the name <laughs> with the gunmetal and the futuristic silver like it was I don't know I didn't like it but I do like it now I like the way I did it here so let me know what you guys think of that whole trend so I, I said I really I have no plan and I honestly kept feeling like I was messing up putting these black lines on here because I was like maybe I should have put the line somewhere else uh, here's a tip for you guys with this style so if you don't know how if you do your lines and they aren't curved and you're trying to you're looking at it like what's wrong just go in and curb some of those lines i think that's the key for this whole trend is these lines are not straight <laughs> they're not giving geometric anything they're super curved they're kind of like butterflies where you have to curve the wings and things on a butterfly so just go in curve your lines and you got the trend <laughs> and i hope that makes sense when i say that it's supposed to be curved if it doesn't just go ahead and ask questions in the description box not description i'm sorry ask questions in the comment section down below i do not mind answering questions because that's the only way i learn is to ask questions so go ahead and ask your questions down below and right here i'm just showing you guys i really think i like it better with the black instead of the silver but i had already did the first nail so i went ahead cured that for 45 seconds and now i'm just putting the chrome on and i did brush off the excess chrome with this brush this brush seemed to be perfect to brush off the excess it was stiff enough to get that extra chrome off while also not messing up my design under it and i did go ahead and add a little bitty planet on this nail i don't know i couldn't decide i was honestly going to leave it without any charm but i don't know i just decided to throw it on at the last minute but i think i would have liked it without the charm it just was a last minute a last minute decision also you really want to make sure you cover up the chrome and you also want to make sure you have a chrome top coat because the chrome will get back in your top coat. It's like, it's unavoidable. I don't feel like you can avoid it, but I did not fully cover my chrome. So when I wiped them off after the fact, some of the chrome came off accidentally. So if you see that, that was me just accidentally wiping them off. But this is the nail set outside. I like it. I think it turned out really cute. I'm really happy with it. But thank you guys for joining me. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I make new videos twice a week. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye.